And this, uh, I really encourage everyone to take a look at. This is a blockbuster. And this makes a real difference. It captures what you were saying, as well as puts it um, in, in a, what I would consider actually a voice of value as well. Um, and these experts talk about it. Yeah, so I think um, many of us were uh, surprised and actually quite happy to see this morning that five of the uh, leading lung cancer doctors in the country um, penned this editorial that appeared in Oncology Business Review. And what they wrote is that they are very seriously concerned with the approach that ICER is taking. They're concerned with the, uh, with the conclusions in that report. And they said, if we're going to approach value frameworks, we need to have some underlying principles. Some of those underlying principles include, and I jotted them down so I could remember, uh, the authors of these studies have to be practicing physicians with expertise in the specific disease area. So if we look at what ICER is doing, they don't have authors who are lung cancer docs for this. They have a voting panel that will meet tomorrow that does not contain um, lung cancer experts. So it's very concerning, and I think to the clinical expert community, it's, um, it's extremely concerning because they're on the front lines of treating patients with these drugs. They see what's possible, uh, they understand the risks and the benefits, and um, they don't want a primary care doctor telling them what to do. Uh, they also talk about the importance of patient-centeredness, the importance of having outcomes measures that are patient-determined and patient-centered and reflect what patients see as benefit. Uh, they talk about scientific rigor, so we talked about that already a bit tonight. Um, they talk about continuous review. So uh, ICER's report came out a couple weeks ago. Since then, we've had another approval mm -hmm. in lung cancer. Uh, we've had an update to the clinical practice guidelines from National Comprehensive Cancer Network, NCCN. They released um, an update to their guideline last Friday. So how is this group going to incorporate, you know, they're voting on a thing tomorrow that's already weeks or more out of date. So uh, one of the principles that these physicians uh, propose is that you have to have a continuous review process because new data comes out all the time. These are really quickly evolving therapeutic areas. And then the last thing is they, they really pushed for that idea of peer review. Um, you've gotta have other scientific peers looking at what you're doing, checking your work, and agreeing that it's uh, valid and it's ready for prime time.